Today we're opening up the newest Pokemon trading card game set, Astral Radiance. We're going to be chasing the really, really awesome Altart, Palkia, and Dialgos. Also the Starmie and Machamp cards. Some of the more valuable cards on the inside of this box. I did sell this box to community member Mayor Nays for $69. I do periodically sell booster boxes for $69 to the community. If you would like a shot at a $69 booster box, make sure you hop into the Discord channel. It's a really great community. Hope to see you there. All right, let's go ahead and get into this box. Let's talk about what it's actually worth. So right now, a booster box of Astral Ratings will set you back right around $100 to $105. It has been steadily declining since its release date last Friday. In my opinion, this is a very, very powerful set. It's kind of similar to Battle Styles, in my opinion. It has a lot of really powerful V-Stars on the inside of it. The Darkrai V-Star, the Hisuian Samurott V-Star, all very, very powerful. Even the Palkia and Dialga cards are just extremely powerful, but they're not super, you know, high-end chase worthy. So the box is actually starting to suffer a little bit. The most valuable card on the inside of this box right now is the Machamp V Altart. There's been a bunch of buyouts happening on that Machamp V Altart. And honestly, I believe that the price of it's going to crash down pretty quickly once all of those buyouts stop happening. Starting it off with the Psyduck and the Reggie Gigas. This is a really fun card to play. If you get all of the Reggies in play, this Ancient Wisdom ability allows you to accelerate energies into play. A lot of really, really good fun decks you can make with that. It actually got fourth place at the Full Grip Games uh, tournament, I do believe. It was a really, really cool deck to watch during that tournament. Uh, the second most valuable card in the set is the Origin Form Dialga V Alt Art. I think that card right now is sitting right around $70, so the most valuable cards in the set are worth less than the price of the booster box, which is going to bring down the total price of the box. There's a lot of really good cards on the inside of this box that will add up to the value of the current price. If you get a couple of really good V-Stars, like the Palkia V-Stars for instance, there's a gold version and a rainbow rare version, and both of those are selling for right around $35 to $50 depending on which version you want. I do give away all of the code cards in every single one of my videos, so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so when that video go live, you guys can get some of these code cards. Astral Radiance codes are selling for right around $0.60 cents right now per code. Really nice Galarian Moltres V character rare card. This is the best part about Astral Radiance in my opinion and why it has a higher floor than Battle Styles. It has the Trainer Gallery cards on the inside of it. This Galarian Moltres V is a very powerful card. I actually used this card in my deck when I went to the Indianapolis Regional Tournament and it won me a few games. It's a really, really good card. But being able to pull those Trainer Gall Gallery cards makes this set, in my opinion, much, much better than Battle Styles. But there is a lot of similarities just because there's no high-end chase card. What do we got in this pack? We got the Galarian Obstagoon back-to-back character rare cards, and we have the Hisuian Lilligant V-Star. This is another one of the really strong grass-type Pokemon that's coming out in Astral Radiance, or one of the really strong V-Stars. Last time I checked, this card was right around $10 or so. Not the most valuable card but it is a very, very playable card, so it's always gonna have some decent value to it. Really good pack there. We got the character rare, Galarian Obstagoon, and the Hisuian Lilligan V-Star from one pack. A lot of fun. That's a really, really good looking card there with Pierce. Awesome, awesome card. All right, let's get through some of these packs here. Let me know what your guys' favorite card from Astral Radiance is. Mine is probably the Altart Starmie V. Just a really, really fun card. Got the Grant and the Avlog, nothing too crazy there. I know a lot of people really like the Altart Beedrill V as well. That is a beautiful card, really cool Mighty Anna. And we have the Garchomp V. There's an Altart Garchomp inside of this set as well. Got the Sweet Honey and the code card there for you guys. Make sure you guys redeem these cards. These cards are very, very powerful and are gonna be very, very sought after on the trading card game online. We got the Sudowoodo and the Hisuian Samurott V-Star. It's amazing that we're able to get these two V-Star Pokemon. Sometimes you won't, you get one or you get none. I've had many, many boxes of Brilliant Stars, for instance, where I got zero V-Star Pokemon. With how playable this card is, it's currently selling for right around $18. Really, really good hit there. So far, this box has been pretty valuable. We got five really good cards already. We're not even halfway through the box. We can get a really good alt art, maybe some more character rares. Let's find out. We got the Typhlosion there and the Origin Form Dialga V. This card is ridiculous. The V-Star form of this, uh, the V-Star power allows you to take an extra turn. And it's honestly just broken because if you knock out your opponent's Pokemon and then you get a second turn in a row, there's a good chance you're going to end up clearing their whole board and either 
taking all the prize cards that you need or you're going to end up knocking out all of their available Pokemon. It's just absolutely crazy. G Gutsy Pickaxe, another really good card on the inside of this set. Allows you to draw a card. I could see this card going into a lot of decks. I know it's to accelerate fighting type energies, but it could also be a really good card to put into decks just to draw through. It is an item card, so you can play as many of them as you want per turn. How are your guys' pull rates been from Astral Radiant so far? Let me know down in the comments. This is my first box opening. Regilecti there. I really hope we can get all of the Regis from today's box. Code card for you guys. But I've been seeing people get crazy, crazy hits out of all of their packs. Looks like it's been a fun set overall for most people. Even with the lack of a chase card, having that trainer gallery in the reverse holo slot is just so much fun to be able to get. Really cool hoot hoot card inside of this set. We got the Choi and we have the Diancy. It's a really, really good looking holographic card. Code card there for you guys. Best of luck to whoever's redeeming all of those. I would really, really like to see one of the higher end cards from this set for Mayonnaise just so we can uh, break even or possibly make a profit off of today's box. Do you guys think we can make a profit off of today's box? I think we're about halfway there right now, right around $40 or so on the polls. With the code cards and everything else, it would be much, much closer. Got the Reggie Steel. We got almost the whole set of Reggies already. And the code card for you guys. So far, this set's been very, very enjoyable for me. A lot of good cards on the inside of the set. We got Double Glaceon. That is so cool. It's cool when that happens. Trekking Shoes, another very powerful card. Roxanne, similar to N, very, very disruptive. Could be kind of hard to play, so it may not see a lot of competitive play. All right, let's see what else we can get here. Kind of on a dry spell right now. Hopefully we can get some better cards in the next few packs. Still looking for that alt art. Still looking for a secret rare. If we can get that gold Palkia V-Star, that would be amazing. There's a gold double turbo energy inside of this set, along with the dark patch. That would be really cool as well. We've got the ultra rare Wardeer V. Most of the V cards have already gone down to right around bulk price outside of the Dialga and Palkia cards. We've got the Pawn Art and the Miss Magius V-Star marker there. And the Dark Patch, just a crazy powerful card. It's been around for a very, very long time. Let's see what else we can get here. All right, got the Super Effective Glasses. I'm really excited to play those in some decks. And the Holographic Hisui and Samurott. Very, very nice. Let's kind of burn through these packs, see if we can get anything crazy out of the last part of this box. We've already got a lot of really good cards. There's the Trainer Gallery, number three, Kingdra card. This is probably my favorite card that we pulled so far. Probably only worth about $3 or so. It's not a crazy valuable card, but man, does it look good. One of the better looking cards in this set is that gold Path to the Peak card. If we could get that card, that would also be a really, really good hit. Really, any secret rare from this set would be a lot of fun to be able to pull. Let's see what we can get here. Another character rare card. After pulling the ultra rare Word Deer, we get the character rare and the Cleavor behind it. We're going to run out of sleeves here. I'm not sure what the normal pull rate for character rares per box is but so far we have four we're going to have a total count at the end of how many character rare cards we got just to kind of compare it and see how well we did all right we got the quillfish and the shaman nothing too crazy there really good bronze on card there the one that transfers metal energy is very very powerful i think that one just has a resistance to fire type pokemon so it's not quite as good we got the ponyta that's a really really good artwork there and the thievel all right code card for you guys Still looking for that alt art. Still looking for that secret rare. Hopefully we can pull one of those for mayonnaise. All right, we got the swine up and the reg ice. I think we have all the reggies. Switch card is kind of interesting because this is the first time that they've ever power crept the switching card. It heals 30 damage and does the exact same thing as switch. So the metagame has gotten so fast and so powerful, they decided that they needed to upgrade switch card, which has been the same for the last 20 years. Got the Rowlet card there. Looks like we have something real shiny back there. Rainbow Rare, Hisui, and Samurott V-Star. This is sitting right around that $16 to $18 price along with the regular art. It's not much more valuable than the regular art, but man, does it look really, really good. Beautiful card there. Awesome hit for Mayonnaise. Let's see what else we can get. Look at that Samurott V-Star. Very, very cool. Do you guys prefer the regular V-Stars or do you guys prefer the Rainbow Rares? I honestly think that the regular artworks look better than the Rainbow Rares, even though they're much more difficult to pull. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the regular coloring or do you guys like the Rainbow Rare version? Code card for you guys. Let's see what we can get here. All right, got the Cleavor and the Arida. Cool card there, super effective glasses. Like I said, I'm really excited for that card. 
Coming down to it here, hopefully we can get an alt art of some sort out of this box. That would be the best case scenario. Got the Hisuian Sneasler V card. Poison Claws, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, and it has no energy cost. That's that's very, very interesting. Could be kind of fun to play around with. Pair it up with some Krogunk cards to uh, increase that poison damage. Could have some fun with that. All right, we got the Azelf and the Avalog. Nothing too crazy there. Code card for you guys. Best of luck to whoever can redeem that. All right, coming down to it here. Still looking for that alt art. Got the Bronzong and the Rapidash. Nothing too crazy there. Let's just fly through the rest of these packs, see if we can get that alt art. I think we're pretty close to being done with this box in regards to the hits. Really, really good looking Leafy on there. Really hoping we can get one more hit here for Mayonnaise. That would be the best case scenario. So if we have at least one more hit on the inside of this box, there's the Radiant Heatran. I honestly forgot that the Radiant cards were on the inside of this set. That looks so good. That is amazing. And we have the Hisuian Lilligant behind it. It's really cool that they put these in the reverse hollow slot with the along with the Trainer Gallery cards. Just makes it so you can get so many awesome hits from so many different areas inside of a pack. Just makes it a lot of fun to open up packs. Really, really cool card there. I'm a big fan of the Radiant cards. The new Pokemon Go set looks like it's going to have a Radiant Blastoise and possibly a Radiant Charizard, which should be a whole lot of fun to try and chase. we got the Miss Magus and the Wardeer Holographic. Still looking for an Altart V card here. Let's see if we can get it. We've got four character rare cards, three V stars, which is awesome. There we go. We did get the Trainer Gallery Galarian Zapdos V. That's a beautiful card. This is a very, very powerful card. A lot of decks run this card just because they're trying to get that super effective attack against all of the Arceus cards. So, so that is character card or trainer gallery card number five. Feels like that's above average. Let me know what your guys' pull rates have been from your boxes. Very, very interested to know if five is a good number or if we should have got more. Got the Heavy Ball and the Reggie Drago. V-Star marker there and a code card for you guys. Got two packs left here. This box has been looking pretty good so far. Looks like we may be very, very close to breaking even, but not quite in that profit range yet. Got the Hisuian Arcanine. Look how beautiful that card is. That is a good looking card. Code card there for you guys. Last pack magic. Let's see what we can get for last pack magic. All right. Kind of shuffle through looks like we have something else back here we have the full art rocks and i honestly wasn't expecting to pull another full art or anything really good last pack magic and we get a rocks and unfortunately it looks like there's a little bit of damage at the top of this card could just be some dust actually it is just dust no damage on the rocks and which is amazing this could have actually pushed us into that profit range last time i checked this card was selling for right around 25 dollars i'm sure it's come down a little bit since the release date but that is an awesome, awesome card there. Let's do a bit of a recap. We have four regular ultra rare cards. The best of them being that Dialga V. We have the Radiant Heatran. Not the best Radiant card, but it is still very, very nice. We have one, two, three, four, five character rare cards. That's a really good selection. We got the Zapdos and the Moltres for our character rare cards. Very good assortment and some really valuable trainer gallery cards. We got the three V-Star cards. We got the Lilligant and the two Samurots. And we have the best card from the box, the Full Art Roxanne. That's a really great looking card. I do appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one.